Hey, what's up, everyone? Up, up, everyone. This is a uh, this is Rayla with Kitty Bit and Sashimi. I know it's been a while since we did an unboxing. So since uh, we figured we've had this guy a while, but since Zenogar is currently pretty exciting right now because he just got announced for Iceborne, we've had this guy sitting around. He's actually been out for quite a while, but he's actually had a reprint even. Um, I believe they're going to be releasing it to the American Capcom store here pretty soon, judging by how they're releasing things. So. We also have this guy. This will be for next time. We're actually, this is Glavinus. His uh, Japanese name is actually Dino Valdo. They actually did a little bit of a translation mix up on here, but if that's you guys. definitely a doe. Yeah, that's a doe. So, Dino Valdo, also known as Glavinus here in the States, which Milo seems to really like this guy. Look at that face. He will be for next time. So, you guys can look forward to that. We'll just toss him up over there. Well, let's get to Zenogar. So this is the Creator's Builders Zenogar. Our Creator's Model. I'm sorry. I'm mixing up the Figure Builder and Creator's Model. It's from Capcom Figure Builder Creator's Model. These are the bigger ones, similar to these guys back here. They're all from the same series. Not really much on the bottom or the sides of the box. So let's pop him open. Well, like I said, this is actually a reprint. He's had a, a second run already. But I'm pretty certain that because of Iceborne, we're going to be seeing a third run. So we figured what the heck. We've been wanting an excuse to bust him out of the box. Goodbye. Alrighty, and also ours with ours the when it came the glue was actually pretty rough on the the outs, outside so Time to open it. It seems anyway. We've actually never had that issue with any of our other figure builders That's uh seems to be a really rare thing so All right out of the box you're gonna have this nice little background which is tailored to Zenogar It's got the moon and the fireflies running through it Looks like there was also a spider living in there. What? I don't know. Maybe. I didn't see a spider. What? That's good. That means the viewers <laughs> didn't see it either. I should have just kept my mouth shut. All right, so they always come in this plastic prison. All you have to do is cut the couple of pieces of tape keeping you from your greatest joyous oh. doggo. I just thought I'd share this real quick. Oh. Look at that. There's a Narga in the Janoga box. <laughs> Narga Kuga has taken up residence in our box. Speaking of, Narga Kuga doesn't have one of these just yet, which is really surprising. Yeah, he should. I'm hoping we will get Narga. Now that Narga is going to be made famous with Iceborne. I would wow. love a Narga figure. I didn't expect the colors to be so bright on him. Yeah, they're nice. I know plastic nice. crinkling doesn't come through the camera quite no, so great. Yes. All right, so these figure builders are always this one piece. Well, the creator models. One piece. So as you can see, he's got this nice rock base here. It's actually really sturdy. He's got he's got a uh, plastic piece here to hold up his hefty tail. The rest of it, he's just manually glued to it. But very, very solid. That's one of the re one of the things I love about this series. So, how about we get in and take a look at the colors? Very nice detail on the scales. Mm-hmm. And I love how bright they made these little spikes on his arms. Yeah, it's a really good contrast against the rest of him. And he's got the white and uh, bluish trails from the energy running through him. I, w I almost wish he was in rage mode though. Because mm -hmm. he looks so much more awesome in rage mode. I mean, can you imagine like the paint jobs for these things? Like, it must take quite a while to produce one. Yeah, they would need to add a bunch of like clear plastic and stuff for the 
uh, electricity. You can see the like separation of the fur in the back and the shadowing on the scales. Check out the, I love the, the thickness of the tail. Like it's actually just like his, because his tail's always, it's like bigger than even his head. Mm-hmm. And on the and underside. The underside yeah, the awesome. blue. It's really bright blue. The colors of green they chose for the fur is really, really nice. You know, I like what they did with the rock that he's on. It's just, it's not just like plain gray. It's got some moss or something growing on it. It's nice looking. Yeah, it's got some green in it to give it some character and kind of match him. Yeah, a little bit of green blue. But it's a different green than it's what you see like a jade color. anywhere on him. So it's not like they just use the same colors, so. You can see all the little details in the in the claws where they etched it out. Lots of fine details in his uh, side claws. Those seem like they would be so awkward to deal with. It's like mm -hmm. a dog's thumb claw, but on the opposite side, like it's out here. Mm -hmm. The great thing is, like, if you were to drop him, these would probably be, these are the horns would be what would actually have a chance, if anything, of breaking. It's so sturdy, I don't think it would really break, but it, even if these did, you could kind of say it's like, you could go with like, oh, it's battle damaged. <laughs> you know, that's after you've broken something. Done been fighting. Even if you were to break off his tail, which would be a dang shame. Yeah. That'd There's be a chip. Spikes oh, here. that thing's thick. It's thick. Yeah, he's like super sturdy, like, like, I mean, just absolutely solid figure. Let's get another good look at his handsome mug. No, no focus. Here we go. Get him with the moon in the background. Majestic. Very nice. If you were to like pull it down. Oh, he has a he has a challenger. <laughs> the great Milo. What's up, buddy? You if you want a cat to figure size comparison. This is the hand, so this is like your hand comparison. This is Milo comparison. Milo really likes an ogre. He's a pretty happy cat, so. He's receiving that, that Milo approval. So now that zenogre has been Milo approved, we're just gonna take one more look at his back here, which I think is another highlight. It's one of the, fa it's one of my favorite parts of the Zenogre. I've always loved like his shoulders. Mm -hmm. The shoulders and the spikes, it's like also one of the most uh, accentuated and attractive parts on the armor. You mm -hmm. know, it's the shoulders and the spikes. Yeah, and the spikes with the fur uh, combo is always fun. Very nice. Yeah, I like the way they throw the fur in with it. I never actually noticed these details on his ribs, though. Yeah, I, me neither. Like he has just these rib casings on both sides. I didn't notice the ones on his shoulder either. And his super manly chest hair. <laughs> Watch it be a female. Yeah, we don't know. She's a beefy lady if she is. But there you have it. Um, as far as size compared to the others, you can see he's uh, he's he's actually one of the smaller ones. Like, he doesn't really compare in size to Valstrax, but as far as you've got Rathalos in the back there, Rathian, Teostra, I'd say he, they're actually keeping these quite to scale. Yeah, except for poor Nergi. <laughs> well, Nergi came with the collector's edition of Monster Hunter World, so he yeah. was kind of a, an exception, so. 
Well, alrighty, guys. If you guys were thinking about getting the Zenogar, I believe he actually is available still on PlayAsia and AmiAmi.com. Uh, um, it's our favorite shopping site. You can check those if you are interested in big old guy here. And uh, if not, you might just want to go ahead and see if Capcom brings him out again on the North American Capcom store. Uh, they've got Volcano on there already, which we'll be getting next month. And outside of that, hope this helped you guys out if you're thinking about buying it. So, as far if you guys are uh, if you guys are new to the channel, as far as likes and subs, uh, we appreciate it, but it's not required. If you guys are animal lovers, though, what we do ask for around here is that you consider, if it's within your means, adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google local animal rescue and adoption options. If you can't bring bring one home, then there's other ways you can show your love to those babies out there. What are some of those? You can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys. Or you can donate money, old blankets, clothes. They can use all that kind of stuff. Yep. So if you guys have love to give, love to show, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love and plenty of ways to show it. So speaking of love, we love you guys, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.